Hi guys, I'm Stuart, he's Alan, and this is Outdoor Basics. <laughs> and you shouldn't try any of this sort of stuff at home. Hi guys, Stuart Allen and the rest of the team here from Outdoor Basics and today I want to talk to you about something that I'm really excited about. It's a bit of kit that I've wanted to make or purchase or, or get for a very very long time and it's inspired by someone that I massively looked up to eh, within the kind of outdoor survival, outdoor bushcraft, outdoor training kind of environment massively and what I want to show you and what I want to talk about is the Moz Kohansky uh, survival scarf. I, I have done my version of the Moz Kohansky survival scarf. Um, Moz is kind of, if you imagine everybody else, what they know about survivability and outdoor living and all that sort of stuff. If you wrapped it all up into one thing and then get Moz Kohansky, I, I think Moz knows more than one finger than everybody else does full stop um, and even down to just listening to the way he talks about knives and his kind of theories anyway Moscow Hansky is somebody I massively look up to and I've seen this this bit of kit on loads of his videos and I've spent a bit of time and I've looked at it and I've got my version of it um, so yeah it was inspired by Moscow Hansky but this is my take on it he unfortunately passed away in the last few years which is a bit of a bummer really I would love to have went and done one of his courses out in Canada um, I'm pretty confident his kind of main students, the guys that were under him, are still running courses. So when all this madness settles down, I think I'm going to go over and take one of their courses um, to just kind of get some of the knowledge from the man himself. Because if you're not, if you're not learning and growing, I don't see the point really. Nobody knows everything. Um, you can learn for everybody. So I'd really love to go and, and get the take that he passed on. So yeah, enough waffle, enough waffle, I'm just like, yep. Um, so what is it? The Moscow Hansky Survival Scarf. It's basically a scarf made out of parasilk. So this one uh, I got and I made it out of parachute material. Um, and I decided to kind of do it in bright orange um, for survival colours. Um, and this was my kind of prototype and I was really happy with it and I actually get advised where to get it from from a good mate of mine um, but I'm not going to talk about that one because that was my Mark 1 I'm going to use that for my demos I'm going to talk about this one so this one is a disruptive night camo if you're a cool kid you call it desert night camo if you know you know um, it's from my mate at TRC Outdoors Ben I said to Ben, I would really like to make this Moscow Hansky survival scarf. Where could I get, where's the best place to get material? Because obviously his shirt's so short, his, his windproof suits are the best in the business. Um, I've reviewed them and he was like, what do you want to do? I told him, he looked it up and was like, mate, I'm really interested in that. Have a look at this company. And he told me where to go and get this material. He then sent me up a large amount of disruptive night camo so that I could make my kind of, I suppose, the final version of what I would like mine to be like. I even made this wee bag in a homage to the uh, Shiritsu shirt bags, but I boxed mine. My mate Jenko says it looks like an umbrella bag, um, but yeah, I really like that. I even made it the, the draw cord the same. So, here it is. My take on the Moss Kohansky survival scarf. This is, I'm doing two types. I'm gonna make two types for myself. This is the type A. So, what can it do? Well, obviously, I mean, it's very light. You've seen how small it packed down there. Well, obviously, it can fold up into a scarf. Crossing that across your body with your small con or your jacket on, the amount of heat that that is going to trap in is unbelievable. Nice and simple, a scarf, if you want to go for it on that way. But what I really liked about Moore's method or methodology was that if you can have one piece of kit 
to do 10 jobs, the more you know, the less you carry. So if I don't need to carry loads and loads of kit if I have one piece of kit that can do 10 items, 10 things really well. And that's exactly what this scarf can do, especially in a survival situation. So A, it's a scarf, which is unbelievable. It's awesome, great scarf. Um, B, could put it on in this kind of head over fashion here and on a mad one when it's like heavy windy I could have this pulled in cinched nice and tight to keep the wind from getting at my head smashing me up for say for example I've lost a bit of kit or whatever or just adding this on absolutely fantastic Take all that off. so yeah there you go, it's a scarf and it's a kind of a wind hood. Next for there, a nice wee option that I kind of really like. Now remember this is a survival scarf, it's an emergency option. Pulled it onto that midget scenario there. Anybody that's spent, I know I look like a nutcase, anybody that spent any time in Scotland with a notorious midgey here, you'll know just how effective this could actually be in stopping you going insane um, when midges getting to you. So yeah, fantastic option there, it's a midgey net. Next option, again, I could use it as an emergency bag, tie that end off, stuff it with all my kit, pull it tight here, over the shoulder, nice and tight, there you go, I've got all my kit in it if I'm having to move around quickly if I've lost kit or I'm in a survival situation, fantastic bag. Again, if I had to, I could tie it off at a certain sort of height, or certain length rather, sorry. Put it on here. An emergency sling for an arm, that's another option. Getting onto the main, they're all kind of like cursory things really. Getting onto the meat and bones of it, what I would really use it for and what I really like it for. Also, what I've done with this one, if you wanted that could be green paracord and this would work very well for a soldier. Um, again, Disruptive night camo. However, if I pull it inside out, you'll see that one side of it is lined with orange. For example, if you were a hunter, you could be out, you're going to be able to be seen with the orange. Or, again, if you're in an emergency situation and you had to use it as a marker, you could use it as a marker to draw attention to yourself. Just a fantastic option there. Also, I suppose, again, another wee option you could use it for. No, just a midget net. Would be to bang that on as some sort of face veil, um, so that you're not necessarily having to get cammed up. Just another option. These are all cursory options, these are all just, I mean, how many things have I got? So, so far I've got a kit bag, I've got a windproof scarf, I've got a windproof hood, I've got an emergency sling, I've got an emergency signalling device, um, I've got a midget net, I've got a camouflage hood. But for me, where it really, really comes into its own are what we're going to show you doing now with this version that we were practising earlier. If I tie this end off, I could fill this to the very top with leaf litter, grass, straw, whatever is available and I have turned this into an emergency mattress. It's a three quarter length, it goes from my head down to my knees, mattress and that is absolutely vital because if I was in an emergency or survival situation and I'm lying on the ground, it's just going to pull the heat out of my body now. So what you'll see now is us filling it and using it as an emergency mattress.
say like, this would be the insulated vest because I would do the same on that side. And that would add a lot of insulation, especially this way. And again, with it being parasilk or what people call parachute material, um, it would add another real layer of windproofness. The main thing that I'm doing is just being aware to not put any sticks, any big sticks in, like that, get that away. And it's not taking long at all, just as the guys are doing some other activities, I'm just filling this up. So if you imagine if I'd been on the move all day and then I realised I'm going to need to sleep this out if I've been caught short especially in the activities that I'm doing where I am okay, there's always going to be a lot of leaf litter or even green leaves and stuff around about me I can use it in this brow ba uh, browse bag format to get it stuffed with stuff even if I was on the hill though, I could use grass, I could use all sorts. It's only taking a few minutes and I'm starting to I'm starting to fill it up really super quick. But I want to make sure that I can uh, keep packing it down tight because obviously I'm gonna squash that down as I'm lying on it. So yeah, stay tuned and you'll see it filled up. Okay, so I've obviously got my Moscow Hanske survival scarf and I'm using it and I can a browse bed format. Um, I'm here making sure I'm getting all the big sticks out. And I'm gonna keep going with this kind of leaf litter, this mulch, and get it nice and full. I want to get it all the way to the top and get it nice and full because it will compress down under my body weight. And then I'm here. Yeah. Now What's so good about this is, what's so good about this, I don't know if Moore's came up with it, I think it was Moore's that came up with it, and I've looked at a few of his designs and I'm making another one just now. Obviously, you've got the one that I've showed you made out of the awesome fabric from TRC Outdoors, the Disruptive Night Camo, and it's got a few more features than this one. This was my kind of Mark 1 uh, trial version, but this, is, this does absolutely everything just the same anyway, and I kind of like the high-vis orange for if I was in an actual survival situation. Um, it's so good because it's so many items in one. It's a scarf, it, it's a head over, it's a bag, um, it's a midget net, it's an emergency insulated vest, which I'll show next, and it's this browse bed. If you were in a survival situation where you couldn't get a fire going, i.e. you didn't have the kit to make a fire, because you were just expecting a day on the hill or a day a, a walk in the woods and you slipped and broke your ankle or whatever, you've no cell service, what, you've no mobile service, whatever, or you are maybe in a non-permissive environment, you're a soldier, you're on patrol, you've been separated for the lads and you're going to have to do a night in the woods and you didn't have a roll map with you. Being able to fill this up and get yourself off the ground might be the difference between freezing to death because the ground will just pull all that heat straight for your body and, and that just is, is no good whatsoever. So being able to fill this up like this and get yourself on top of it, maybe in this sort of format, I have my core and my, my body up off the floor and I'm insulated for the ground and I'm not going to freeze to death. Um, and to be honest, it's obscenely comfortable. <laughs> it's very, very comfortable. Um, and it's just a fantastic survival item. It is going to stop me freezing to death. It's going to stop the ground just pulling the heat straight from my body and getting me in a lot of trouble. Um, and if you look in the next scene, which will happen in a second, I'll do a click again and that's what will happen. You'll see me using it as an insulated vest. Let's say I've slept on it all night because I've tried to walk out, I've done my best. It's not happening, I've had, to, I've had to sleep here. Right, I've got up, I'm colder, I'm more drained. Let's see how I can utilise this scarf to make an insulated vest to help me out even more. See you in the next section. So as you can see there, it works fantastically as an emergency mattress. Um, it's just an absolute top bit of kit. Next option that you're going to see now that I really, really like is all I'd need to do was empty a kind of half of the leaf litter out, twist it at the top. I can chuck it over my shoulders here and here, 
tie it together there and I've got an insulated vest front and back. I, is it a Kirinfia? No, it's not. Is it going to provide awesome insulation and stop me freezing to death in a uh, survival situation? 110%. Definitely that's what it's going to do. And I'll show you that now. So I've kind of let a quarter of it out, I would say. Maybe a quarter. more out on this side. It might seem like a lot of weight. But I could half this down, I probably would to be honest. Now that I've found it on my body, ditch a load of this out. Spread it out. Just tweak it till I got it right. Yeah, that's perfect. There's zero weight in that really. It's just leaves. I would take my jumper off if this was me just now and I would sit it over my body like this. Yeah. Imagine I've got my t-shirt on. I would pull this in tight here, tie it there. Pull that a bit tighter, sorry, hang on. Second guys. That's why I like giving this on both ends. Um, Pull this in nice and tight. And then, bang my jacket or my jumper back on on top here. Um, I'll probably do this as well if I was doing it. Yeah, much better. Stop it sliding off my shoulder. Better, much better. And that's that. I could then bang my jacket on over the top and I've got this insulated vest keeping my core warm. If you look at that there, it's over my chest, it's over my core at the back, it's over my lungs again, my core. There's zero weight in it and I could easily pull my jumper or if, and if I'd been caught short and I only had a jumper on, this is windproof. This is going to stop that wind cutting through my core. So again, there's an, another fantastic option for this Moscow Hansky inspired survival scarf um, yeah insulated vest front and back and even if I just had it like this this would be absolutely fine um, yeah I might seem a bit mental but I can already feel the heat building up I can already feel the heat building up it's bloody amazing um, so there you go there's my two favourite things that it does it's a browse mattress and it's an emergency insulated vest we just kept putting some leaf litter, it could be grass, it could be heather, moss, whatever, anything, anything I suppose, whatever you had to in a pinch. But this leaf litter, and I'm always in the forest, is absolutely fantastic. Um, this really is an insulated emergency survival item. As you can see, Moss's principles of one bit of kit being able to do multiple things, I'm just going to list some of them just now. Scarf, windproof hood, midgenet, Camouflage hood, emergency arm sling, emergency emergency signalling device, wind sock, bag, emergency mattress, emergency insulated vest. It's got cord in it that I could use for something else. I mean, ten, ten, ten things straight away that my scarf can do for me. Ten things that my, that my scarf can do for me. So being able to take one item and make it do multiple things is absolutely vital. Um, and a, again, a massive, massive thank you to the guys at TRC Outdoors for linking me up, completely free of charge, just out of the goodness of their own heart, being good eggs, uh, with, with, with some of this disruptive night camel. Um, 
as you can see, I mean, look how small that goes. It's nice and simple. I just roll it up. Such a good material, this as well. I can just roll it up wherever I put my bag and just bang it away in the bag and you see how absolutely tiny it is. Um, it really is such a versatile bit of kit. And for me, the fact that this tiny bit of kit, I mean look at that. Do you know what I mean? It's nothing and it weighs nothing. That tiny bit of kit that does so many different jobs is gold, it is worth its weight in gold. Especially to throw it in a bug out bag, to throw it in a patrol bag, to be able to just put it in your pocket so that you can forget about it. But should you need it, in a survival situation, you have one item that can give you 10 plus things. And that's just off the top of my head. But for me, the emergency mattress, the, the scarf in its own, and the emergency insulated vest just take it to another level. So yeah, um, I've, I've kind of knocked this one up in orange. Um, thanks very much, Ben, for giving me the details of where to get this one from. This was my practice. And then I've knocked up this bad boy, which is the obviously disruptive night camo, or desert night camo, as I say, if you're a cool kid. Um, which is the Ferrari model, I absolutely like this. So I'm going to send this off to Ben now, um, and I think he's going to take it maybe possibly to the guys at um, Mad Dog Adventures or Mad Dog Outdoors. Um, my, why is my head gone blank? Sorry lads, my head's gone blank now. Um, he's going to take it off to them to one of their courses in June and just get some feedback and we'll see how we go. So yeah, um, massively happy with that, massively happy with all the things that it can do and the amount of things that you get in one and it's a homage to the legendary Mors Johansky um, so yeah, survival scarf, 10 items in one plus and just a fantastic bit of kit so yeah, as always I've been Stuart, he's been Aaron, yous have been awesome Mors Johansky's a legend, Ben for TRC Outdoors is a legend thank you so much mate and I'll see you in the next one like, show, comment, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash that notifications bell and all the rest of that good sound and stuff see you in the next one